Hi fam and welcome to a new video. It is I, Smriti of House. I don't know anymore. I just, whatever. I am here with some uh, fruit chat, uh, which is basically kind of like a fruit salad. And I am here to chat with you. See what I did there? No? It's okay. No one appreciates my humor. Um, essentially, I'm here to do a book tag video um, and book tags are super popular on booktube and I am new to it so I will also explain it to you because most of the people who are watching this are just my friends who like to watch it to just support me. So thank you friends and thank you other people as well. Um, but essentially a book tag is when someone really cool makes a bunch of questions about a particular topic and uh, people on booktube then answer it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This one in particular is just to kind of look back at the books that we have read so far in the year and it is called the Mid-Year Book Freakout Tag. Okay, and um, apparently it's been going on since 2016. I will link the creators down below um, and is a favorite and I see why because there's some really interesting and fun questions in it. So I am excited to answer it. Um, so far this year, I have read about 50 books. No, I've read exactly 50 books. I just finished my 50th book right before I filmed this. So that's cool. Um, uh, and I will uh, now do the book tag. Cause... So the first question is, best book you've read so far in 2020? And for this, this will no doubt be uh, Know My Name by Chanel Miller. Um, this book, um, as I said to someone else, broke me down and then built me up again because that's just exactly what it does. Chanel Miller was Emily Doe in the very, very um, famous Brock Turner rape case. Um, he was a Stanford student who is also a rapist um, and he basically assaulted her in the campus and it was this very widely publicized case um, because he got only basically like three months of jail for raping her. So, where's just mm. anyway it does have a lot of trigger warnings um for a lot of the very obvious things but i thought the way that she dealt with it and the way she wrote about it was just brilliant yes i did cry a lot i sobbed but i also did not want to keep the phone down um i mean the book down i read it on my kindle um <laughs> And I just thought that the way she wrote it, um, the sort of things that she said were just resonated with me. And like, I, w I think it would resonate with womankind in general, even if you did have an experience, which most of us kind of do or didn't. Um, and also, I feel like this book is needs to be read by men because you need to understand our perspective as well and see what runs through our minds. Because Chanel really put it out in the most beautiful language and beautiful prose. Um... And I just love this book so much. Um, it's not only going to be my favorite of this year, I feel like this is probably going to be one of my favorites ever. The second question is best sequel you've read so far in 2020. And now I don't really read too many um, series, but um, I did reread The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and the second book. Or uh, the sequel in that which is the restaurant at the end of the universe is one of my favorite books of all time so i really enjoyed that i actually vlogged that entire experience um and i will link that here um another oh i did also read the um darker shade of magic trilogy um this year and i thought that was really fun and cool as well um so i think the sequel is a gathering of shadows um and i thought the games aspect of it also was really fun um, but overall, I think that a uh, restaurant at the end is still my favorite. So that's the best one. The third question is, new release you haven't read yet but want to. How much time do you have? Okay, because I can go on forever. I have so many books and so many new releases in particular that I really want to read that I can legit, this can be a two hour video, but I will just mention a few that come to mind. Um, number one is Burned by Patrick Ness. Now that is a book that I really want to read because it is not available in India right now. So yeah, uh, but basically this follows an alter alternative universe where in it's in the 1950s in the US um, and uh, dragons are there and dragons kind of lease themselves out to be farmhands in farms. 
um so i'm just like really intrigued by that concept and i'm just like i want to read it and also patrick ness is just a beautiful brilliant writer one of my favorite books of all time is a monster calls um and i just think he writes really well so i know that will be a great book and i really want to read it um another book is a burning by mega machumdar um and this is selected for the book of the month uh book of the month so um a lot of people abroad are kind of getting to know about it and this book is by an indian author set in india set in my city actually so i really want to read it cuz mm, yeah i just really want to read it and plus i know that it's going to be a brilliant read because i know the editor and she is amazing mansi shout out to you even though you do not watch my videos it's fine it's cool but if you do can you please comment down below and tell me that you do cuz that will be fun the next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year all right now for this i'm just going to borrow a bunch of other people's um answers because i was like yes 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 while i was watching uh the book this book tag you know you know what i mean um but one is the midnight library by matt hague now this book sounds super interesting matt hague is also just a phenomenal writer um so this book is about basically this library that exists in the universe where um the books are basically your life stories but they are of various different things various different lives that could have been so for example if um if i had not studied english literature and studied economics what would have that life been if i had taken up this job versus that job what would that life have been and i just think that concept sounds so cool um and i definitely want to read it so that is one the second one is piranesi by susanna clark and i read the excerpt of this and i just thought that it was really interesting and the world was just really strange so i really wanted to read it um so and then the third one is definitely going to be i don't know the name of the book but it is the sequel to the royal we which is a romance novel that was written like a fan fiction of sorts of um kate middleton and um uh, prince william's love story so i just thought that was so cute and i want to know what the sequel is going to be the next question is biggest disappointment and that without a doubt will be anna k um anna k is a retelling of Anna Karenina and I made the biggest mistake in the entire world by reading this right after I read Anna Karenina um and uh, it was not good in my opinion um I thought the characters were no match to what Anna Karenina actually has um I thought that it was just a really like I didn't I didn't like the retelling at all I didn't like that um i thought the characters were not as grey as like leo tolstoy kind of put it through and of course you can't really compare to leo tolstoy but still um and i didn't like the ending cuz it was like a little different um i don't know i just didn't like it it was a disappointment the biggest surprise uh -huh. now biggest surprise is finally anna karenina um i was i went into this book saying that you know what like i'm just going to give this book a shot i have it um a lot of people say like really good things about it you know when people like you know those authors who kind of go like what book would you recommend and then they go like proust and uh, anna karenina is just one of the most amazing books and i was like you know what like fuck it let me just see what the fuck this book is about and i read it and i kind of got it like the character arcs are the best i've ever seen the storyline is amazing yes it does like deviate and all of that sort of stuff but i felt like i was in that time in russia i have never been to russia i don't know a single thing about you know i do know many things about the history of russia but i didn't know about the history at that point of time which this book was set in and i just was so immersed in it and it brought about so many questions um that like we that i had and like i had i buddy read this with someone so we had and he was a man so we had these very interesting conversations because the topic of feminism came up and just like what does it mean to it was, i can go on for a very long period of time but i was very surprised by this because i expected to go into this book and just be like Meh. but this book i was just like ha huh, okay cool i get you now 
next question is favorite new author and for the, which is either debut or new to you um and i think for me it is definitely going to be tj clune i just read his book the extraordinaries and i just thought it was really well done i love the dialogue i love the characterization and i love the fact that he could make it lighthearted and at the same point of time very um serious um and had like he discussed very important topics um so i really like the way that he did it and i like his execution um so yeah i would say he is an author that i want to look out for the next question is newest fictional crush and for this i actually have an answer i didn't think i would but i do and that is tate from where the crawdads sing and uh tate is like my feminist icon he is so good he understands boundaries he is like he understands consent he wants to help a person and make them grow he doesn't care if the other person is doing better than him he understands he doesn't believe in toxic masculinity like how like does this man not sound amazing fuck I want this man. So like bring Tate to life and I will I will marry him. I, you know, I'm not being weird. I'm being fine. The next one is newest favorite newest favorite character. Um I got it. Newest favorite character for me would be um Gibby from The Extraordinaries. Um I just thought her character was so fun. um and she was so badass and like she kind of knew what she wanted um and she was not afraid to be vulnerable and she was not afraid to be like just shut the fuck up so um i really liked that about her um and i'm hoping that in the uh, sequel that we get to see more about her and the kind of tj who kind of fleshes out her character much more because i really liked it so far and the next question is Book that made you cry. We have already spoken about this. It is not my name, but Chanel Miller. But also, um, there was this one. I read this short story anthology called Other Moons, um, which was basically Vietnamese short stories translated into English about the war, which was the Vietnamese War or the American War that we call it. Um, and the first story is about a dog that participated in the war. And anything about a dog will just make me sob. Okay, like just sob. I. described the story to someone else and i was just crying i could not even while i was reading it i was just i think i'm going to cry now so i'm just going to stop talking about it because this that that short story put me in my feels the next question is book that made you happy and for this i will like no doubt say hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy um the series in general this book i mean this that's my answer for um any time it's not necessarily just this year but i did read it again this year so that would be my answer i just think it's just such a fun read i can just flip open to any page and read it and um laugh so it makes me happy next question is most beautiful book that you bought or were gifted and for this i would say the tin man um by sarah winman i have already read this book and then i saw someone um show off this one hard cover version of it and i just thought it was so beautiful that i just have to have it and it was really expensive but i don't regret it the last question oh the second last question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year um and for this i would refer you to the previous question which was new releases you haven't read but want to um but apart from that i also really want to read the parables of sour um by octavia e butler because i've just kind of like figured out what it is and i really want to read it like asap um so that's that and also i'm doing an interesting video that's going to come up soon um about the 20 books that i want to read before i turn 30 um which is also very soon in august so basically july is going to be me doing that and i think that's going to be fun and um stay tuned for that so yeah and the last question is favorite book community member which i cannot say right now because how do you choose between all these fantastic people it has been so fun <laughs> getting to know all of you guys and just knowing um watching all of your videos is basically what i do all day now um apart from reading and it's just so cool to be part of this community i'd always heard of the booktube booktube community but not really been like actively part of it i'm just seeing it from the outside and just now to um sit down and make these videos and um put it out into the universe and then have um people tell me that they like it or that it inspired them to read something i just think that it 
gives me so much joy and happiness and um, I love that I get to do this and on that Sunday note I am gonna go I hope you all are well I hope you are doing great and are keeping yourself safe um, do stay tuned and um, subscribe for um, when I see you next in my new video I guess and um, bye